Applying a halter is always made to look very easy, but actually it can be quite confusing certainly when you start. So very often you'll receive a halter screwed up very tightly into a ball. So the first thing you need to do is to work the halter open so that we can correctly orientate the halter and work out what needs to go where. The first piece we're looking for, which will allow us to orientate ourselves to the correct application of the halter, is this fixed piece here. So there's one fixed bar with a loop on either end. And that is going to be the fixed bar that goes over the top of the nose. Um, the second way to orientate is that the halter is going to tighten underneath the chin. So, straight away we can now work out that this piece here is going to go across the nose, that's the fixed bar, and it's that way round, that's that uh, way round as opposed to that way round, because here, although we've still got a fixed bar here, if we pull on this, it's going to tighten up towards the ear and not underneath the chin. So that is the correct orientation for the halter. Fixed bar with the two loops on the end, tightening underneath the chin. Classically, cattle have always been haltered from the left side. So that is actually the correct orientation for a true classical application of a halter to a cow. So if we come over to the cow, straight away again you can see we've got the orientation. So we've got the fixed bar with the loop on either end and here we're going to tighten underneath the chin. So that's the, uh, the orientation we're after when we're applying the halter. The other thing we need to make sure we've done is we've given ourselves plenty of room. So we're going to open the halter out nice and open so we've got enough room to apply it. Now obviously this is the dummy cow uh, and things will be slightly more difficult when we're doing this for real, but the way we do this is obviously we want to warm the cow we're coming. We're also going to approach from just behind the shoulder, but we'll talk about that when we apply to the real animal. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop, first of all, we're going to drop that over the ears and behind the horns, if it's a horned animal, and then we're going to slip it down the nose, and then we're going to tighten it underneath the chin. Absolute key is making sure we've got it on night nice and tight, so we need to take up all the slack and get it on. So that is a, a correctly applied halter. We've got the fixed bar over the nose, and it's tightening and loosening underneath the chin. In order to take the halter off, all we need to do is give ourselves some slack by taking slack from underneath the chin, and then just slipping it over the horns and ears and letting it fall away. So that's the classical correct way of applying a halter. There are two ways that the halter can be applied incorrectly. The first way is to get the halter upside down. So here, the halter looks very similar to how it did before. So we've still got the fixed, no, fixed bar that goes over the nose here. But here, if you notice, it's going to tighten up towards the ear along the jaw rather than tightening underneath the jaw. I'll apply the halter incorrectly so you can just see. So again, it's still possible for us to apply that halter over the ears and the horns, apply it underneath the chin. We've still got the fixed nose bar, uh, fixed bar over the nose here. But now, if we try and pull, the halter is going to tighten towards the ear. That is incorrect. That's upside down. So that's the first way we can apply the, the halter incorrectly. The second way the halter can be applied incorrectly is by again going for the, the orientation we started off with before so we've got the fixed nose bar here but in this incorrect way what we're going to manage to do is to get the fixed nose bar underneath the nose as opposed to on top of it So again here, although it may look like it's applied correctly, now the fixed bar is underneath the animal's jaw rather than on top of its nose. And if we try and tighten, the halter is going to tighten across the top of the nose. That is also incorrect. So lastly, the one other thing that we may wish to do, we may wish to halter the animal from the right hand side. 
Although I've said that classically cattle are led from the left, certainly when we're working in veterinary practice working with these animals, sometimes it's more suitable for us to halter the animal from the right hand side. And that is entirely fine. And so in order to apply the halter from the right hand side, we've got our fixed nose bar uh, nice and loose. So again, all we're going to do is drop the halter over the horns and ears, apply the fixed bar over the nose, and then we're going to tighten up again. So again, making sure we've taken in all the slack from the halter. So that animal is now haltered from the right hand side. So fixed nose bar over the nose, tightening underneath the chin on the right hand side. And then the last thing we need to do to make sure the halter is applied correctly is make sure that it won't come off. So I've taken the slack out of the halter. The way to check that is to come around to the front, grasp both sides of the halter, and pull down. And if that doesn't slip off the nose, the halter is, a tie, is, is applied correctly and tightly enough.